transit Neptune in Pisces conjunct natal midheaven in Pisces. You may become involved in secrecy, and intrigues in your professional life. Private affairs or scandal can be disclosed. Favorable for those in careers involving arts, entertainment, psychology, or healing. With this influence you may feel too idealistic and may lose contact with reality. You may want to isolate yourself from the others or the whole situation could make you feel lonely. In any case keep your feet on the ground and try to continue with your everyday activities. Stay away from substance abuse, instead try jogging or meditating. Transiting Neptune conjunct your natal midheaven greatly affects how you see yourself and the direction you take in life. You may feel confused over the direction your life is going, not having a clear idea of where you want to go. You may feel that your work so far is inadequate, or too restrictive. You're more inclined towards something more idealistic, something that helps others, or something more meaningful and above the mundane reality. You feel attracted to working in social or spiritual institutions or hospitals. You should examine whether you want to do this work because it really is your calling, or just because it makes you feel worthy. You now have romanticized, idealized goals and life views. But later, after this transit has passed, you may ask yourself, what were you thinking? So try not to make any permanent changes in your career during this transit. You can explore your new feelings and convictions without making permanent commitments. You're attracted to the mystical and spiritual side of life, and may feel the need to find a girl or spiritual guide. But, do not idealize this father figure, and do not abandon everything to follow this dream, since it may be only a temporary need to see an alternate reality and transcend your ego. Indeed, ego transcendence is the focus of this period. You may discover that you have been too self-centered, or too concerned with your own egocentric goals, and now you wish to stop giving yourself so much importance, so as to be able to give yourself to others with more compassion. But, don't make the mistake of coming down too hard on yourself, or of extreme self-denial. Take this energy as the positive influence it's intended to be that of enlightenment that enables you to climb to a higher state of consciousness in which your ego needs are no longer the determining factor in your life. You do not need to gratify your ego to feel happy, at least during this transit. Whether this new life view is permanent will depend on your attitude, although what you learn now will have permanent value for your future. You now begin a spiritual vocational journey that, if sustained, can take you very far love and private life. Your life situation appears to be somewhat uncertain at this time. You do not have a solid basis upon which a future can be built. Instead, you now like to dream about a better and more beautiful life. If you are still young, your situation may be completely normal. If you are already somewhat more mature, you may feel lost during this phase of your life. Something is no longer as it was in the past. You are subject to a process of transformation and find that it is a bit scary to lose your support. Be glad if you have a reliable partner at your side who gives you a sense of security. If you do not have a partner, your wishful thinking could be somewhat too idealistic at this time so that every potential partner would have a hard time of doing justice to your wishes in the long run. Everything may feel totally wonderful at the start, but you may not see the world very realistically. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.